What's up guys, today I've got some crazy, crazy info for you all when it comes to Fortnite Battle Royale. We're gonna be talking about season four, the comet up in the sky, the superheroes, and everything else in between. And uh, this is some big stuff. Like these are some big spoilers of what to expect in season four. So uh, I'm kind of hoping a lot of this is true because it looks pretty legit. Now, in terms of where this is coming from, it's all coming from a Reddit user by the name of Internet Adam. Now, technically you can never really trust anybody online Anybody can post anything and Photoshop evidence and stuff like that, but apparently Internet Adam does have a pretty good track record. He's made a few other predictions in the past couple weeks and couple months that ended up coming true. And uh, he has some sort of insider inside of Epic Games. Like he's, he's getting fed information out of Epic Games early and uh, he's kind of reposting it onto Reddit. So uh, although technically none of this is confirmed and obviously Epic Games isn't gonna say anything, they're just gonna kind of slowly roll things out over the course of season four over the course of the next couple months. Um, I don't know, it's got a pretty good track record. So you have to take everything with a grain of salt. Technically all this stuff could be completely 100% untrue, but uh, based on his track record, it kind of seems like a lot of the stuff he's saying here has a pretty high chance of actually happening. So first up, let's talk about that giant comet up in the sky. This is seriously really, really crazy guys. So you all know, the theories about the comet started like a month or so ago, and at first everybody thought it was gonna be hitting Tilted Towers because Tilted was added into the game a couple months ago. It was fun at first, but since then, it's kind of hurt the game a little bit in terms of the, the pacing of the game because everybody lands there and dies really quickly and it kind of you know reduces the number of people on the map, especially in early game. And it's just, I, I don't know, the, the game definitely doesn't play the same as before Tilted Towers was in there. Tilted's fun to land at, but it kind of hurts the game for if you land anywhere else. So a lot of people thought they were going to take this meteor, they were going to destroy Tilted with it because that way it would re-spread out the players around the map and it would make things kind of return back to normal. Well, it turns out that this meteor is not going to be hitting Tilted Towers. However, it is going to hit somewhere else. I'll give you guys a second to guess where that's going to be. And don't cheat if you've already heard this because Reddit's been buzzing about this for a couple of hours now. It's actually gonna be landing in Dusty Depot. So this is his quote. He says, the meteor will be hitting Dusty Depot, not Tilted Towers as so many believe. Epic has thought this area of the map has needed an update for a long time. And although I'm kind of sad, like I love the idea of seeing Tilted just being completely demolished and on fire and rubble and all that kind of stuff. This actually makes a whole lot of sense if this ends up being true. Dusty Depot is pretty much right smack dab in the center of the map. It's kind of like the, the ring around it. You have like Salty Springs, Tilted Towers, Anarchy up top, Tomato Town, and then Retail over on the right. It's smack dab in the middle of the map, AKA technically the spot that should see the most you know action and most people running through it. And it's boring, it's awful. It's horrible to land there. There's almost no loot. And whenever you're running through there in late game, like let's say you land on the left side of the map and the circle ends up over on the right side, it sucks. I hate going through that section of the map because it's nothing but open fields. It's nothing but getting sniped, getting pinched, shooting across long open fields with no cover. Like it's just, it's not a good section of the map. I really don't like it. I never have liked it. So they're gonna take this boring, nothing going on, no loot section of the map and they're gonna be destroying it with a meteor and adding in a bunch of new stuff. I mean, you're gonna have like meteor trunks to, to take cover behind and all kinds of you know stuff that forms out of this meteor. So if this ends up being true, I actually really, really like that. I think that's cool. And the other thing is, is a lot of people were saying Tilted should be deleted because it's ruined the game because so many people land there now. And that's one theory that makes sense. But on the other side of things, I didn't really think about until I thought about this, why not add cooler stuff into the game that's even better than Tilted? Like, yes, people are still gonna land at Tilted, but now people are gonna wanna land at the Meteor. Or when we start adding other things into the map, they're gonna wanna land into these other locations on the map. So then, instead of taking out something cool, because Tilted, at the end of the day, is very, very cool. It's super unique, it adds verticality, it's a very awesome, unique section of the map. Instead of taking that out, Let's add more awesome, unique sections around the map that still spreads people out. And that constantly gives us new ways to play and new things to look forward to and stuff like that. So rather than delete, let's just add more cool stuff. It seems like that could be the direction that Epic is taking. 
And uh, that sounds pretty awesome. Like I, I can't, it's such a simple concept. I can't believe I didn't think about that, but nobody else was really thinking about that either. So apparently this meteor is gonna be crashing down into Dusty Depot. It's probably gonna destroy some of the warehouses. You're gonna have different chunks of meteor everywhere. We got all those meteor sounds recently. So maybe the meteor is gonna be made up of loot. You're gonna be able to loot the different sections of the meteor. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But according to this guy, that's what's going on there. Now let's get on to his second bullet point. He's got four bullet points here. So the second one is talking about season four in general. Season four is starting next week and the seasons run about 10 weeks long. So around two and a half months. And uh, apparently season four, as I said in a video earlier, is gonna be one of the craziest seasons that we've had yet way far above and beyond some of the improvements we've seen in last season. So this is his point here. He says, the map will always be evolving. The map will be updated weekly in season four. Epic feels like they had a wasted opportunity with Tilted Towers going up all at once. They would have rather had bulldozers and a few raising cranes one week, then one building go up the next week, two buildings the following week, etc. So holy cow, mind blown here. Every single week, the map is going to have some sort of change to it. And it sounds like we're going to have a bigger change than what we have currently. Like, I, I feel like currently sometimes we'll get like a campsite here, a campsite there, like a little change here and there. Little things. But it sounds like they're going to actually try to make like a fairly significant change every single week. Think about how cool that's going to be. I mean, this game is already amazing in terms of constantly churning out new weapons and new limited time modes and stuff like that. But this map that we've been playing on for a while, and I'm going to be honest, at times is starting to get a little bit old. Like I, I hear a lot of people talking about, hey, it'd be cool to be able to get a new map for Fortnite. And they've, they've said that they want to keep the same map for a while and just keep improving it. Think about how they're going to switch to this and every single week we're going to have like a new section to check out, a new point of interest, or at least a, a significant change to a current point of interest. Like just thinking about if Tilted would have gone up over the course of like four months and at first you see bulldozers kind of like flattening out all the land and then next week you see that they've got some cranes in there and some suspended building pieces you can jump on and stuff like that then the next week they have like half of it built dude that would be so much fun and it's again something to constantly keep fresh and look forward to not only with the weapons not only with the limited time modes but now the actual physical map itself is changing that's really really cool and uh, then the third point is kind of like a, a sub point to that last one he says Moisty Meyer will be gone by the end of season four. And uh, this is another thing that I kind of, I, I agree with. I think it's a good idea. Like uh, Moisty is, uh, man, it, it's, it's a very unique place. It's not bad for loot, don't get me wrong. Like if you ever want to hop into a solo, be fully looted and, and be looking pretty good with like 50 people left, drop Moisty because almost nobody goes there. You can get tons of chests, tons of wood. And by the time you get out of there, the game's halfway over and you're all fully loaded up. So it's a good spot for loot. But it's not a good spot for action. Nobody really goes there. Nobody goes pretty much past the jail. So what if we put something exciting down there in Moisty? Because again, aha, at first we start off the season, we add this asteroid in Dusty Depot next to Tilted. Okay, now we're kind of pulling some people away from Tilted, but then everybody's landing at the asteroid. Well, now we're going to add something in down towards Moisty Mire. So now we've got people who are liking to land Tilted, they like to land at the asteroid, and some people want to check out the new thing at Moisty Mire. And then eventually they probably get bored of that, so then they start fanning back out to Retail Row and Salty and everything else like that. Again, let's add cool stuff all around the map that splits the players up and takes away from the tilted effect that we've seen for the past couple of months. I uh, I, I think this is really cool. I'm actually a, a big fan of what this guy has to say. I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. He's been right before. Hopefully he's gonna be right again. Now, uh, moving on to his fourth and final point, we have uh, the season four battle pass. Now, obviously we know it's superhero themed. We started off with the male character yesterday, and then today we got an updated image. I don't know if you guys saw that. I didn't make a video on it because I thought it was kind of eh. But it, it's like, you know, Wonder Woman in there, or at least something that looks like Wonder Woman. Well, it turns out that there aren't going to be any actual partnerships with Marvel or with the DC Comics universe. So I made a video on that yesterday. I still think it's kind of possible. This guy's saying it's not actually going to happen. He says there's going to be superhero skins and villain skins, and they're not going to be from the actual superhero like Marvel and DC. It's just going to be Epic's own characters. But when you think about it, it could still pretty much be from Marvel and DC. Like when you look at what John Wick is in the game, it's not John Wick, it's the Reaper. It's just very close to John Wick. So we don't have Wonder Woman or the Flash in the game. They're just very close to Wonder Woman and the Flash, as close as you can get legally 
without them having to license all of the rights to that. So, I don't know, kind of interesting. I like that we're getting villains too. Obviously, we haven't seen any villains in that image yet. I've got a feeling we might get a couple over the course of the next couple days. I think every day they're gonna add in a new one to that image. But uh, yeah, season four is 100% gonna be superhero themed and uh, it's just gonna be all of Epic's own superheroes that they create or, or kind of model after other superheroes. So there you guys have it. That's what he uh, that's what he predicted here. That's what he said he got information on. I'm really hoping you're right, Internet Adam, because, I, man, I wanted to see Tilted go, but now talking about adding in new points of interest every single week throughout season four, that sounds even better to me. Like, I, I, I really like that. Like I said, I, I feel like sometimes at times it seems like this map is starting to become a little bit of a grind. And uh, I, I know a lot of people are kind of looking forward to a new map at some point. I think it's coming, just not anytime soon. Honestly, I think they would maybe add in a new map later on this year, like towards the end of summer, early fall, because that's when all the heavy hitting games are coming out. We've got COD, Red Dead Redemption, Battlefield is probably gonna have a Battle Royale mode, stuff like that. So I'm sure that's gonna be their like nuke in their back pocket. They're just gonna take it out and drop the mic. We're gonna have a huge new map in Fortnite. I don't know, they could wait till next year. They could have some huge plans to continue changing the current one we have. But um, I mean, if we're getting fresh weekly updates every week until we get a new map, I'm perfectly fine with that because that sounds pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys later. Peace out.